No. Execute. Ah, oh, he didn't jump that high. Oh, okay. Okay. He did jump that high. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go again. Back flip him, wrap the dance. Oh, I could make a montage. Ooh, you sure Back. we ought to go this way, Captain? Back in the outer worlds, back to my old, old ways, getting interrupted during my intros. And everything is pretty much dead here. Oh, there's a Manta Queen. Nice oh, there was a Manta Queen here. Oh, 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 damn, he came close. I went in a little bit too aggressive. But my healing juices are so good. Which apparently, so far, is the best ability you can get from the start of the game. That you just get healing, free healing. I feel like there ain't nothing better so far. <laughs> Who needs intelligence when you can heal automatically? Opening fire! Wow! Not even a scratch! Automatically. Right, little marauder. I've been here before, so I'm guessing there are less threats. It's the right path, right? What's here? Oh no! <laughs> Take off the goddamn gun! Let me go. That did a lot of damage. That was not good. Holy hell. He was a toss bar eater. That was not good at all. This nation alone in the wild. Damn, still threats everywhere. And a quiet, or oh, just a ship. That's not the right gun for those creeps, that's why. Oh, <laughs> hello. Yes, give me that lever up. Long guns. Just to be sure. And perks, I need a lot. Uh, I don't. That sounds good. Uh, no. Minus plasma damage sounds also good. Damn, I need a lot here. Nope, this one. Just to be sure. Less damage. Less damage is always good. Can't go wrong with less damage. Are there still creeps down here? Yes. Guys, just chilling in the rock again. He was already captured in there once before. Believe it or not. And it happened again. And it happened again. You stuck, little buddy. Should this step bro get you out? I'm getting you out. There. Your free step wrapped it on. 
Ah, this... Yeah, you're cool, Neoka. You're cool. I see ya. Flexing your gun. Damn it, he spit at me again. Attack! We did it. Why do you feel like this area right now ain't for me? Too much danger. My danger is deadly at the moment. And doesn't give me loot at all. I killed this creep before. There we go again. Back flip and wrap the dance. Oh, I could make a montage. I could make a montage with how many backflips I'm getting from those creeps. Here we go. Damn it. Oh. In the same spot again. Backflip in the same spot. Oh. That's cool. Damn, you can just endless farm. Endlessly farm in this spot too. Okay. Let's go inside. This looks cool, this room. Screenshot time! Screenshot time. I don't know if I want that as a thumbnail. But anyways. Which gun do I want for that? Bolt or pistol. Yeah. Very picky with my screenshots. Yeah. I took it, maybe. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Oh, uh, I don't know if you remember that. If you uh... go on ahead, Captain, I'm not keen on ships, even when they're in the best of shape. Yep, we'll be keeping watch here. Even one year ago, when I was let's playing and taking screenshots, I still had a screenshot sound on that was pretty loud and bright. I don't know if people remember that that screenshot sound. So I'm reading through it. Just to get the XP. Hello, my name is Jen. I'm the chief engineer on this gunship, and I'd like to let the record show that our captain is a total fucking hullhead. I told him again and again that without fixing our regulator, spinning up the engines are going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this metal finger popping <laughs> up, because I'm doing it as hard as I can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool as hell. That's cool as hell. Good job on the voice acting part. <laughs> oh. Hmm. But he couldn't see that middle finger. Open trooper. Yeah. No, I can't get in here. Okay, maybe up here. Yeah. Damn, this is a red room. Holy, we went a little bit overboard on the red. Any additional loot in here? Mine. I'm gonna sell it for money to Edgewater. Because why the or not? 
Okay. Brakes. Now move. Let's groove. Hit the sofa pools. Killing and executing rapid dance like they are fools. Here we go. Where's my execute? No, execute. Ah, oh, he didn't jump that high. Oh, okay. Okay. He did jump that high. Oh. Okay. I love a good fight. Oh, here we go. Yep. Got him. Execute. No, with the execution button. There we go. Don't you backflip. You backflipping. Be quite far away. Nice one. I hate the swarms who can't hit him. Oh. Ah. Oh. The pink slip. Best snap in the game. Gotta love those backflipping raptodons. Mm. <laughs> Just mm. Whew. okay. Time to get the mission done. Mm. And I'm definitely going with MSI. I never went with the iconic class. Damn it, I'm not inside. Now I'm running the wrong direction. Two nil. Point to the Sophia. Huh. I can do that beforehand. That's actually not a stupid idea because that gives me the most experience. Where's my ship? There. And like I said, I died through those fights that coming up beforehand. So I should play it safe at least. Terra 2, Pysantium, Chonte. A two tenths of Conde. And then we can do that We're later, anyways. Byzantium, Captain. Hm. Hm. I want to take Yali with me. He's getting a new gun. There. A little bit of a change. not like anybody else my tape matters oh damn i'm tired damn traveling through space ah oh, 15 i need a punch deep fried sisty pits that sounds actually kind of good even though i've eaten um what's it called Right, pick a skin before whatever it's called and that's just ugh, that's just the worst thing ever that's not a, one of the good things i could put a gun onto ellie yeah ellie i give you the biggest honor of carrying fonda with you there you go enjoy i don't see it on her Show me that gun. No. Just a big fuse. Gonna let loose. I've just finished reading a report of your work on Monarch. The broadcasts have been silenced at last. Hmm. Unfortunately, Sanjar Nandi and Graham Bryant still draw breath. I would have liked to be rid of them, but they're no longer important. And you broke it in alliance with the broker himself. Hiram Blythe is a valuable asset. Well done. Your work is exemplary. You've earned a place in the chairman's inner circle. 
Congratulations are in order. I'm not recording. <laughs> I need to check every episode 15 minutes, okay. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Patience and good work are always rewarded. Hmm. Now we introduce you to the chairman's plan. Turn your eyes to the screen. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not too distant future, when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals. And rest assured, with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhel. But I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more, and nothing less. Guess monarch folk ain't the only ones fucked around here. That ain't exactly an uplifting thought. I know your face. Stellar Bay's most infamous hunter. How curious that you've thrown your lot in with the captain. Monarch may harbor delusions of independence, but make no mistake. You are a part of our colony. If we fall, Monarch falls with us. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. No, there are so many beasts around that respawn every 10 minutes. Manta queens, raptodons, mega raptodons, gigantic raptodons. I killed so many meat based creatures. Maybe stop being vegan. Damn it. There's enough, mood. There's enough meat on the table. Trust me, I've killed that much meat. There's enough meat. Ah, just tell me what you need done. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. I will be frank. Edgewater was a lost cause. I never expected the settlement to survive another year. But then, you came along. I don't know how you managed to convince a faction of disloyal workers to return to their posts. In fact, Edgewater is more productive than ever before. Every worker in Edgewater will be expedited into our lifetime employment program. Well done, Captain. That town owes you an enormous debt. <gasps> uh, I don't know what expedited it means. I don't even know how to pronounce it, to be honest. Edgewater's workers have proven themselves valuable. When the time comes to place our most loyal workers in suspended animation, 
They're going to be the first in line. You should be proud of yourself, Captain. You're on the verge of making history. There's just one last job I need you to do for me. I've made arrangements for you to journey to the Hope. You will board your former colony ship, reactivate its navigation systems, and skip the colony ship into orbit around Tartarus. Once the Hope is in position, we will have everything we need to begin healing the colony. Uh, what's so important about the Hope? Technology, Captain. The same technology that allowed you and your fellow colonists to make the journey from Earth to Halcyon. Under the Lifetime Employment Program, every suitable worker in Halcyon will be placed in suspended animation. The Hope is the perfect storage facility for the colony's workers. What about the people on the Hope? I won't lie to you. We're going to have to dispose of some of the Hope settlers in order to make room for Halcyon's rotating workforce. But try to understand. Many of your fellow settlers are beyond saving. They've been frozen for far too long, and the revival process would be lethal. Why Tartarus? Convenience. The Hope is a massive ship and we'll need to make use of it. Our facilities in Tartarus will benefit from having the ship within orbit. Skipping the Hope across the colony sounds incredibly dangerous. You've proven yourself more than capable. I don't know if there's anyone better suited to this mission than you. Oh, uh, all right, I do it. I have the highest faith in your abilities, Captain. You and I are going to save Halcyon together. Can we talk? Oh, hell. What? Sure. So we're skipping a colony ship for the board, huh? Mm-hmm. Tartarus is a hell of a place to wake up, Captain. Not like there's a long list of contenders. At least Tartarus has working plumbing and functional air recyclers. So I hear. Level with me. What do you really think about all this? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you're making a smart play. The board holds every mm -hmm. advantage and you've elbowed your way into their ranks. That's how I look at it. I've been wondering what this is about for you. Oh, I like this one. What other what other choice do is uh, what other choices there? Finis is crazy and no one else has any idea what they're doing. I call that a generous assessment. Where do you think this is headed for everyone else though? You think the board's gonna pull Halcyon out of its tailspin? Feel like the only person who would not agree with me and see it my way would be Felix, and that's why he's gone. As long as I come out on top, I don't really care. You're a breath of fresh air, Captain. Ugh. In any case, say the word and I'll be right behind you. Or beside you. Whichever. Or in front Anything of me. Else? Or on top of me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, your, your opinion. I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Uh. Sure, what? <laughs> uh. Another time. You anything more? Speak. Oof. Wells has been dodging the board for years. Why are you after him? Wells had a litany of charges on his records, the most severe of which is destruction of government property. No. He may be a dangerous criminal, but I have no intention of having him killed. It's his mind I'm after. You're gonna keep his brain in a jar? That's disgusting. Not exactly. Although I have been meaning to requisition a new paperweight. We mm -hmm. have the colony's brightest scientists working on the program. But none of them possess Wells' unique genius. I'd prefer to have Wells alive and cooperating. But I'll settle for having his research. Yeah, good luck with that. Because I know how it will turn out. I understand you're Maverick Johnston's new star. Well done. What? I am at your service. Mm, Latinos and Popa Popa. Why do I not? Why can't I buy this? 
Oh, why, man? Uh, I'm loyal. I swear. Don't everything you ask of me. Poof. Everything. Explain. How? Okay, he won't explain. I feel like I'm done here. 25 minutes. Yeah. There ain't too much to do. Nope. Why do I need to talk to him again? Oh. I'm still doing a quest for him, really. <laughs> Taka. Um, no. Oh, yeah, there we go. Search the outpost. Emerald Vale. Let's see what that is. But I'm gonna spare you the trouble and the trouble time. See you in the future part. You piece out. A good one. Teed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Ah, oh, that just happened. That just came in. And it's for DSC. It's for DSC. The start of a DSC. Send it over. With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. Ah. Oh. They did what? They dispense three complimentary spritzes of Anti Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. What? On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. Sure, sure. That's the start of a quest from the DSC. Which we're not gonna do yet. Uh, it's probably the first DLC we'll do. If I actually survive. Which I should. I mean, the last boss is the most difficult boss, and I'm gonna super farm for it. Super farm! I'm also afraid of the Halcyon Helm DLC. Because I haven't played it yet, and I don't know if there are some insta death options that could screw me up. Yeah, anyways, we're here on edge water, and we need a quest done here. Sure, no, where is it? The last companion quest. Ah, there we go. Two from a blend. Emerald whale. Is that girl still here? Crying with her plants. Maybe I can kill her now. Oops! Servus Parvati. Okay, let's just walk around. I don't know if the Marauders are still up there. They probably have respawned. But it should not be a match for me at this point. What do I have with me? Porter Pistol, damn. Porter Pistol. I so will have to edit this together. This is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! Yep. Here we go! Huh? Nice one! Don't mess with us! I don't think they're alive, Nyoka. Hey, grew into a mushroom. That's new. Nice vending machine. Oh, I don't think they make made it out alive. Unless we just killed them. Where does the quest marker lead me to? Inside this house. Hey, take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders? You in there? Did that. But 
We've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Oh, Nyoka. I'm so sorry. They're not well armed. What the hell is their armor? They just look like normal town people. Normal workers. They're dead. They're so dead. Hmm. What is he? Rum and something. Okay. Rook, too know. much text. They were. That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! Oh, yeah. Oops. What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! Ugh. Hard to leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least. At least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. They ran off together. So what now? Only thing left is to take these medallions home. Which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. Mm. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on our soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Oh, yeah. I'd rather go in there with guns blazing. No, we need a plan. <laughs> you may be a capable sort, but so are my friends. I ain't making that mistake twice. Never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. They are uh, here too. They are uh, here too, trust me. Let's just travel there and see if they come out to play. Primal Nest. Alright, let's see if the girl is here. I actually wanted to eat now my soup, but now I'm playing some more. Oh damn, this place still look, looks nice. I don't feel like anybody need to leave. Everything is still working here. Oh, she's still here. What a shame. Look at that. The snakes come back. Oh. Ah, I've convinced your flock to go back. They're returning to the boat. Good for them. I'm glad. Back to the old cannery with Grace and Thomas and Stefan and all the others. I expected it'd end like this. Lived out here for years all by my lonesome. Only right that I'd die the same way. I expect you've done enough for the Vale. If you don't mind leaving an old lady with her thoughts, I'd be much obliged. Nah. Nah. Pavati, to take her out. Don't mess with us. <laughs> there. Earrings. Good job, Pavadi. The sodas are now mixed. Oh no, they're gone. They don't exist no more. The only thing that exists is me and my Manta Queen Slayer. Oh. Oh, it needed to be done. I waited for so long. <laughs> But it needed to be done. Let's see if those promos give me the pheromones. I don't want to trouble the skiller again. I almost said thriller. <laughs> it should be pretty easy, right? <laughs> yeah. Oof. Brain. Root. Hide. Here we go. Right. 
Let's see. Nope. 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 Just brains and hides. No. We need to go to Skiller. Damn it. Okay. Episode over now officially. This time for real. Peace out.